Breaking news from Latah County tonight. A judge rejected Brian Koberger's attempt to have the grand jury indictment against him thrown out. A major decision nearly six months after he was indicted. That was one of two major decisions made by Judge John Judge in court today. Good evening and thanks for being with us. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. Koberger's accused of killing these four University of Idaho students. And I'm Derek Dice. Judge Judge also ruling today that cameras will be allowed to stay in the courtroom, at least for now. Jordan Smith was in court today. He's live in Moscow with some clarity on what these rulings mean and how they'll impact the case. Well, these are both major announcements made by Judge John Judge today, the first of which being that cameras will be allowed to be in the courtroom, at least for now, barring a new set of rules. And we'll get to that in just a minute. But the main arguments headlining this hearing today was whether the Koberger defense team could convince the judge to throw out this indictment, citing that there was an error in grand jury instructions. Ultimately, those arguments were not enough. It's been nearly six months since Brian Kohlberger was indicted by a grand jury for the murder of four University of Idaho students in their off-campus home. Today, that indictment was upheld. Kohlberger's attorney, Jay Logsdon, argued that the standard of proof to indict someone needs to be higher. Very basically, if a suspect is indicted, it means that a grand jury found enough evidence to formally charge them with a crime. The Idaho Supreme Court ruled that grand juries only need probable cause to indict someone. Logsdon argued that they should have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the suspect committed the crime. I am going to deny that, uh, that argument. Judge John Judge rejecting their motion for dismissal, saying that the arguments Logsdon was making weren't suitable for this particular court. This is certainly a, an issue that you would have to bring up with a higher court, uh, like the Idaho Supreme Court. In this case, the grand jury followed instructions according to the Idaho state law. Therefore, the indictment will not be thrown out. The other update was on whether cameras would remain in the courtroom. I'm not going to ban cameras in the courtroom, but uh, I need to have more control over what the cameras are doing. In previous hearings, judge says people in attendance have been independently recording or filming within the courtroom, violating the rules in place. He says he has an obligation to put a stop to it. And moving forward, cameras will only be able to record once the court goes on record. And once the court goes off record, that's when they're going to be asked to stop recording. And again, this was not a formal announcement as to whether cameras will stay moving forward, rather just updated parameters. Still no indication as to whether cameras will be allowed in court when that trial eventually happens. In Moscow tonight, Jordan Smith, 4 News Now.